Every day that I don't do anything about my weight is one second, one step closer to the grave for me. Usually when I wake up, I'm already thinking about ordering pizza, but I try to tell myself not to do that. So then I'll eat something like cheese and crackers or something else to snack on. And eventually I end up ordering the pizza. And I get a large pizza and then I have like the plate of brownies. And I'll eat all of it until it's gone. And then my mom comes home from work for dinner and then I'll eat regular dinner with her. Like hardly knows how many calories that is. You just have that moment when you're like, what happened? Now how did I get here? I was sixth grade, so 12 or 13, when it started to kind of turn into night binging. My dad wouldn't let me eat the table um, because I was disgusting. So, I'm sorry. So instead, I would wait until he went to bed and then eat whatever I could find. And he did lock the refrigerator. And because he's passed, I can't really close that chapter. My weight gain, like, skyrocketed in my 12th grade year. So I went to my first period class, and I didn't see a chair. So I told the teacher, you know, can I go get a chair? And he says, so everyone can hear, if you can't sit in a desk like a normal person, you can sit on the floor for today. I just left the school and didn't come back. But now it's either surgery or death. I was diagnosed with cancer in October 2016. I have no idea if it's growing. I have no idea if it's spread. I don't, I don't know. Endometrial cancer is caused in some part by being obese. So I feel like I did it to myself. Or maybe it's my punishment for abusing my body.